Hello, my friends. It is Madeline again of Sister Luna Psychic Services, and today I'm doing C is for Candle Mass, even though I usually refer to this Sabbath as in bulk. Um, the C for the challenge landed in February, so it seemed fitting. I know that we're all pagans here, and most of us probably already celebrate in bulk. We don't need to explain the Sabbath to you, so what I've decided to do instead is simply take video of myself celebrating this Sabbath, and usually I do celebrate my Sabbaths with a group, um, but this one, this year, has been solitary. And I just moved into a new home, so spring cleaning is not really relevant. Instead. I decided to start with a ritual bath. You'll see that I've lit some candles. I've brought some crystals. I've got blue kyanite, rough labradorite, a rose quartz heart, and some other. I burned an incense that was forest scented. I added lavender oil and pink Himalayan salt to my bath. And when I entered it, the scent of that lavender and those herbs from my garden immediately took over my mind, erased from it anything that I would have been carrying, any thoughts or concerns or worries. And at one point during this bath, I heard this. You are a woman transformed by water and fire and salt and smoke. And I think that is so beautiful. So <clears throat> the next thing that I did was go out into the backyard and gather snow from the very spot upon which I had charged the water for the blue moon. I brought that back inside to melt on my altar, and I also did a yoni painting where I asked the Divine Feminine to take over for my higher self, my higher divine feminine self to take over and create a painting. You can see that here. And then when I was finished the painting, I did offer some of that blood to the, the chalice representing divine feminine upon my altar. And the final thing that I did was to create a Bridget's Cross except I made this cross out of paper upon which I had written things. Things that I wish to manifest, things that I'm grateful for, and that phrase that I received during my bath. This year I'm focusing on Bridget as the smith, as the keeper of the forge flame, as the one who brings forth creativity and shapes it, shapes the elements of this world to become a tool, something useful and tangible. And I'm observing how I can do that, carrying on from my other spell that you saw in A, acting in a chorus.